One image caught the chaos of Florida's vote counting in the 2000 presidential election. And what we had to do is look at those ballots and, and try and decide um, where the vote was. Um, and you'll see... Judge Robert Rosenberg was famously captured scrutinizing ballots in that contentious Florida recount, complete with those notorious hanging chads. And when Brenda Snipes finally resigns, we're going to keep pressure on her until she's in jail, right? Yay! Fast forward 18 years and Florida is once again an election battleground. Stop the steal! Stop the steal! We're not seeing hanging chads or butterfly ballots. This year with the 2018 midterm elections, the races are just very, very close. More than 8 million ballots are nearly finished being recounted by machine and it hasn't been a smooth process. In the Democratic stronghold of Palm Beach County, overheating tallying machines are forcing workers to redo their work with no time to spare. Days since the election, the left-wing activists in Broward County have been coming up with more and more ballots. Meanwhile, candidates are seeking court intervention in the process, feeding uncertainty more than a week after election day. Uh, the whole point right. is just to count more of the votes that came in that currently are being deemed as spoiled. Elections expert Charles Zeldin says a hand recount like in 2000 would include votes not previously tallied and it could sway the Senate race Governor Rick Scott is currently leading. The thing to understand is that there's a playbook for recounts mm -hmm. and one of the key elements of the playbook is you bring the courts in to either fight to stop the voting or if you're behind to fight to open up the voting as much as possible. Either way, the optics aren't good for voter confidence. What happens is, is that when people see these things, it sort of undercuts trust in the system and trust in the office. That's not good. So far, several federal lawsuits have been filed by Republicans and Democrats. The deadline for a hand recount would be Sunday, but two pending lawsuits are asking for an extension. Joshua Plogel, the Associated Press, Lauder Hill, Florida.